welcome back friends this is sonia here from green craft and today we are going to alter this pot yes this is a plain plastic pot which i uh, i actually i shouldn't have done that but i have bought these plastics box uh, these uh, pots and now i wanted to uh, give a new look to my uh, garden my small tiny garden and for that i wanted to work on these pots i did not wanted to spend more money and i really wanted to reuse these pots uh, and create something beautiful and interesting so i have planned to work with something really really good so here is my uh, oops, i shouldn't have opened the complete thing i'll just open the seal so this is the clay this is a shilpakar clay and now i am going to make my own embellishments with this so if you are new to my channel and if, if just in case you have not seen that i have already done a video on how to make a nice embellishments with this so of course you can create your own i think actually maybe i can uh, combine all of them and let me create some really nice good embellishments so I am going to mix it really 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 well. So uh, in this uh, clay it comes in two uh, different packages one is in white color the other one is in uh, the natural cement color. You have to mix it really well and once you mix it you get a nice paste and with that you can do nice clay modeling work i really really love this one uh, although i do not like the packaging it has too 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 much of plastic but so i am looking for other alternates if i find something i will really let you know very very soon i'm just trying to mix it as much as i can so earlier in my video i had done the product review of this one mm, you can check that and there i had shown you that how to create embellishments and in this video also i am using the same pack i am using the same thing and the same uh, mold the same clay and everything but here i am going to make something different something of uh, in a different way now what i have decided is that i'm going to use this one the center mold design and i just need to fix it really well on the complete area
pas de doigts de nos lèvres, de doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter Je sens ciseaux de paix, des souvenirs Impossible à effacer, le bonheur est passé Pas de doigts de nos lèvres, de doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter Je sens ciseaux de paix, des souvenirs Impossible à effacer Okay, so I did not realize that my camera was off and I started taking it out. So here I have just taken out one piece but I can surely show you the other pieces. And I'm very softly, very gently, I will remove all the pieces out and this looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. It's just you need to make sure that you are really gentle with this because these are really 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 delicate Okay, so now we are going to do our sticking work on this one. Okay, so as you all must have seen me that I was struggling too much with creating these ones and I have found out a way. Yes, I have found out a way. So I'll just show you that really quickly. I am super... Okay, so I was actually struggling in making these ones. Uh, it was a bit difficult and now I have quickly found out a way and I would really like to share that with you all. Now this clay, when I mixed it, it was sticky. Now this has dried a bit and I'm just going to press it really well on this. Now what's going to happen is as it is dried out, it is not sticking back to my fingers, which is making it very much easier to work for me like when it was wet it was like it was really sticking to my hands and I was really facing problem so this is the one which I did now these two other ones which I did earlier and yeah I, the bottom line is it should be easier for you you should be able to do it and that's only the time when you really enjoy doing it like I was really 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 struggling with this and now what I'm going to do is with the palette knife I will remove the excessive clay just be a little careful and you are done now in this area I need to give it a good 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 press and this works really really great I'm just trying to fill up all the gaps, whatever I can. Okay, so here I need to remove some excessive clay. Press this well and this is done. So here I actually didn't uh, needed any powder or uh, any such stuff. Just the clay, uh, partially dried clay and it has worked out so well here. Now in the I'm just pressing it to the center so that it covers my complete design and anything extra I can always just slightly cut this with your palette knife be a little gentle and done so this is already already done
pas de doigts de nos lettres, de doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter De son ciseau de paix, des souvenirs Impossible à effacer, le bonheur est passé Pas de doigts de nos lettres, de doigts si frais Que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter De son ciseau de paix, des souvenirs Impossible à effacer my designs and they are looking really 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 fab now i'm going to stick these on my pot and i am going to make sure that i stick it uh, really really well so with a paint brush a flat plain brush i am going to spread my adhesive and very gently I'll pick this up and I will be sticking these and in the similar way I will be sticking one more and I'm trying to create a pattern with this one now I will be taking up let me take up this now okay this looks amazingly amazingly beautiful we just need to make sure that it sticks Oops, really really well now I'll first stick one on the other side again with the flat brush I will just add up my adhesive. I will stick one here and the other one here. Now it's time to stick one more, which I'm going to have it here. I'll just shift this on the sides a little bit and then here. Okay, now while sticking this, I'm realizing that I can actually put up my adhesive everywhere, stick it and then I can slide it down. That will be much more easier for me to see that how it is going to work. Okay, now this is done. So now I need to slide this gently on the side so that I cover the complete pot or at least as much as I can end of the day my pot should look beautiful so whether it goes symmetrical or unsymmetrical it hardly matters to me I need to slide this down a little more yeah I think this looks good now yeah this looks really really good now it is sliding down because my adhesive is wet so I am just trying to stick it as much nicely as I can now once I'm done with my adhesive work it's time to use my heat gun so here is my heat gun and I'm going to run this on my complete pot and even while running my heat gun I will try to make sure that I stick it well okay so my pot base has dried out completely and now it's time to use a chalk paint so here I'm using a mango milkshake shade and okay so my pot has almost dried out and this is looking really 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 great and here I'm going to use my chalk paint so the color which I have uh, picked up is the yellow color it's actually the mango yellow shade and I will be doing this directly on my pot and I am just going to make sure that I cover my embellishments really 
really well with this shade maybe i have started with my paint brush but i think maybe i can use my uh, sponge dauber to do this coloring work Now with the sponge dauber this is uh, actually really really easy as my pot is really curvy so with the paint brush i could see the mark just with the one or two strokes only so i felt that i should do it with my sponge dauber but you need to make sure that you have good amount of chalk paint so that you can blend it well on your base as you can see the design looks beautiful the chalk paint shade is really amazing and it is looking really great i am really hoping that this is going to uh, a nice pot for my balcony de doigts de nos lèvres des doigts si frais que j'ai presque pu le goûter le bonheur a sculpté le son ciseau de fer des souvenirs impossible à effacer le bonheur est passé à deux doigts de nos lèvres des doigts si frais que j'ai presque Time to add some twist to it, and here I have decided to use my sandpaper. Yes, you heard me right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take a small piece of sandpaper, and I'm just going to rub it off because I really like the uh, orange and the uh, yellow and the black color. So I'm just going to rub off some of the chalk paints here and there. mostly on the edges this is just to give it a rough edgy look you can take your filer you can use the uh, mediums whatever you want but here i wanted to use my 
uh, sand paper just a bit I do not want to overdo with my sand paper or anything so I'm just going to rub off some of the chalk paints from not everywhere but from some of the corners okay so i think this looks good i did not want it too much of uh, distressed edges this is looking really good to me some more on the lid of the some more on the lid of my jar and this is done this is really really done now i am uh, planning of adding some nice shade to it and for that i'm using another shade of chalk paint i'll take up an acrylic block i will pour in some chalk paint just a tinge of chalk paint and with a very gentle uh, finger i am just going to rub it off and highlight my embellishment so here in this project I'm using nothing but just my chalk paints to highlight my embellishment work now this is the work which we did with the clay and here I am just giving a nice can you really see that this looks so good so beautiful and with just one embellishments uh, with just one supply not embellishment the supply I'm highlighting this one I'm just playing around with the shades and this looks really really interesting now this is turning out to be so beautiful a little more of highlight work just here and there wherever it's up to you like here I'm highlighting the embellishments maybe you can keep your embellishments as it is and you can just do the highlight work on some other areas like here I'm doing a bit on the bottom rubbing off my finger that's it this is what I'm doing I'm just dripping my finger in paint I'm just rubbing it off on the edges and on the distressed areas and this is just to highlight my uh, embellishment work so yeah this is done so this is what exactly I was looking for that with just one shade it has become such a nice pot and now at the end we need to do the varnish work so here I am going to use my water based varnish and I will be using my flat paint brush now as you know that everything has dried out really well by now so I will be just doing a quick brush up I'm not going to rub my varnish too much on the areas just a quick brush up with my varnish and this is really good to go so the varnish what I'm using here is a water based varnish it's a varnish with wood finish but I use it on almost all my projects and can you really see how beautiful this chalk paint has worked out it is not smudging at all anywhere so very quickly I'm brushing it up now uh, in this way I have created this planter like this pot I've altered this one old plastic one into a new and beautiful piece you can uh, do uh, your old utensils with this you can create nice masterpieces for your home decor you can play around with different shades you can play around with the embellishments like you can use your resin embellishments I've already done a video on how to create your own resin embellishments check that try that and I'm sure you will love it and I'm sure you will find something really interesting for you to make create and 
have your own DIY home decor. There's nothing uh, more satisfying than having your own DIY home decor. Trust me, I have been doing this for such a long time and I'm still not bored of that at all. Adding a bit of varnish work on the top because here also I have applied my chalk paints. So yeah, this is done. This is done completely. Just waving off some of the varnish wherever I feel I have done too much of varnish work. Removing the extras and this is done. Let me show you my pot now and this looks so beautiful, so interesting. So did you realize that uh, from a plain black pot, I have converted into a beautiful pot for your home and I really really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any queries, please do comment below. I will be more than happy to help you all. Thank you so 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 much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.